Let's take a look at a very simplified version of the Summer 2023 Scrapbook and Cards Today cover artwork. Hi, I'm Katie Taylor at ScrapandKatie.com, where I show you how to preserve your family's memories through the art of scrapbooking. As soon as I received my Scrapbook and Cards Today magazine, I was naturally drawn to this cover. It is just super adorable, and so I knew that I wanted to scrap lift it with the Hello Darling from Close to My Heart. So you'll see a lot of similarities in the paper collection, but I want to just walk you through it right quick. Here is the sticker sheet, um, oversized stickers. I will be probably using the Summer Smiles right there, as well as some florals. And then here is a look at the pattern papers. Now remember that our paper has one pattern on one side and then a different pattern on the other. So you're looking at this one. I am not a flower girl, but I absolutely love this. This would be good for 4th of July photos. And then you have a really good plaid as well as this star. Again, perfect for patriotic 4th of July or just regular summer photos, which is what I'm going to be scrap scrapbooking today and then you have this good bold stripe as well as this pattern right here which again kind of lends itself to some stars I don't know what else to call it so that is the paper collection and then like I said I am scrapbooking a photo from a couple of summers ago in Georgia and then I'm also going to pull out the chipboard pieces from Hello Darling. And so these are sapphire, but they're paperboard. So not as thick as chipboard, but pretty close. And then we have some acrylic shapes. And what I love about these is they are just all different kinds of icons, again, that go with the sticker collection. I'm not sure how much of these I will use because the photo that I'm using has us, we're wearing red as a family reunion, but you can see that the red is kind of distorted. So the red that is in Hello Darling is candy apple, and you can see it just really doesn't match. So I'm gonna show you some variations of that cover photo as well as kind of show you how to um, separate your colors if they clash in your photos and then also show you a really easy way to remake that photo I mean that layout you can see here there is a lot of layers there's handmade pinwheels stuff like that again adorable but I'm gonna make it a little bit more realistic to fit in your albums so let me clear my desk and we can get started I have already pre put pre cut my base to eight and a half by 11 and this is sapphire cardstock and then i've already pre-cut the pieces the strips of paper so again you'll see a lot of similarity between these and then also because i want to separate the red in my photo from this red that's in the paper collection i'm going to flip the reds the original magazine cover had the thin strip up at the top. I'm going to put it down at the bottom because the reds in my photo are going to be down here. So I want this big chunk separated from our photos. And then you're going to have this pretty floral. Then you're going to have this honey butter. And if you're wondering where the honey butter came from, it actually came from the flower market. So this is in our core catalog. It will be retiring in a couple of months. Gorgeous, gorgeous floral paper, stripes, polka dots, but I'm loving this floral piece. And then I've got this bold stripe paper. And these all get adhered down flush with each other. And they leave about a quarter of an inch all the way around. The other thing that the cover photo had was stitching, like actual stitching, which I love to do. But like I said, I am trying to make this um, an easy layout, kind of show you how to take an inspiration piece and make it a whole lot easier. 
So on the top and the bottom pieces, I'm actually going to use my white gel pen and I am going to just line up my T ruler and just draw some white gel pen. Now it won't really look like stitching, but it'll look enough. Again, this is just to do some sort of treatment on this layout to have the impact that that cover layout had without all the hassle. Now one thing I will say is if you are interested in stitching on your layouts, the easiest thing to do is just get you a sewing machine and make sure that it is always out. I know that that really encourages me to use mine a lot is if it's out and I don't have to you know plug it up I don't have to take off everything I do keep mine covered because of the dust but that helps a lot much like with your Cricut or your die cut machines if you'll keep them out then you're more apt to use them so I'm gonna go ahead and line this up for this bottom piece and then we only have one other little piece to do here at the bottom. And with white gel pens, you want to kind of go slow. You don't want to go really fast and you don't want to try to go over your spot. So you can see here, it's not stitching, but it leaves that little bit of detail that that cover layout had that just makes it pop. Here is my photo and I do have it double matted. I did bring in the mist color. Um, it's more like a grayish bluish. I just thought it really went well with kind of the haze of Stone Mountain behind us. And then it didn't clash too much, but it kind of stood out against these busy patterns. And then I am going to bring out the sticker sheet. So like I said, there is this sticker that says Summer Smiles. And I'm kind of wanting it right there. Again, I'm keeping in mind that this is totally different red than right here. So before I put it down, I am going to put that on my anti-static pouch. So I can just think about that for a second. And then I am loving the word spectacular. Love this. Good times and hot summer days. Again, trying to stay away from the solid red colors. And then I am loving some of the florals. So probably these. And then let's take a look at the PML cards. Now these are pocket scrapbooking. You guys have heard me tell you about these before. But you can also use them just for little bitty tidbits. I use mine a lot in traditional scrapbooking. They also make really good card fronts. So there's this one that says spectacular. So I'm thinking maybe I can use that as my title in that little blank spot of the photo and then somehow bring in views with either maybe some white foam letters or some stickers. So the title would be spectacular views. If any of you have been to Stone Mountain in Georgia, you do. You literally feel like you're just on top of the world. There are overachievers who hike it. We did not. We took the little whatever that is. Gondola. Not gondola. Gondola's for water. Whatever it is. It's the equivalent to a ski lift, I guess. So I like that. And then I'm thinking... That I'm going to just kind of punch out a couple of these and so the other way that I am planning on hiding this big chunk of red up at the top is by putting most of my embellishments up there and that will hide a lot of that red 
So these are like stars. So again, 4th of July-ish celebrating, but they don't really have to be. They can just be filler. I had a video the other day talking about white space. Not that this layout has white space, but things like these little starbursts are perfect for just little filler pieces. So I still keep coming back to spectacular. It's not really straight and that's okay because sometimes my motto is if you make it crooked to begin with, nobody can tell that it was supposed to be straight. And then I am pulling out our foam alphabet. These were low quantity a week or so ago, but I'll link them if they're still available. I absolutely love them. They can be colored, they can be stamped. So I'm gonna start with the W because I know that I want that pretty close to the edge of the photo. One thing about these stickers is they are sticky, especially if you are sticking them to a photo. So I want to make sure that I have it in the right spot. Okay, so spectacular view. So I think I'm going to go ahead and put down some of these up in this top right corner. I'm going to overlap this just a little bit to make sure that it looks like it was kind of meant to be there. And then we're also going to have to bring in some more um, honey butter. And that will kind of make it look like that honey butter wasn't an afterthought as well even though that's one of my favorite things that's just popping you're gonna have to add some more otherwise it just looks like we just put it in there and so i really was thinking to back this with some honey butter but i pulled out the flower shop sticker sheet and there are some stickers on here that i think we can use let me actually add little centers to these fireworks or flowers or whatever they are and that's also going to bring in some of that honey butter color so i'm going to use oops going to use the larger one on these bigger ones and then i'm going to use a medium size one on this one and then I love this little unforgettable so I think I will do that right here so now we've kind of got yellow moving down the way and then I am I'm liking homemade happiness but I don't know if there is a spot for that so then let's look at these other ones. So I love the, I love this, but I am going to add some 3D foam tape on the back of there. Don't know where I'm gonna put it yet. So I'm gonna leave that 3D foam tape on there for right now. I think I am going to put this little sticker pennant up here. And then just cut off that edge forgot that heart is not attached yet and then there is another pennant on here and so i think i'm going to use it so i've pulled out some of the red acrylic shapes and even though i said i didn't think that i wanted to use those I think when I put them on these, I think they kind of lose their brightness. I think they blend in more, which I think doesn't contrast so much with my photo. Okay, so those look a whole lot better. 
And then I am going to fill in with some of these other little starbursts. So just one more thing that I'm noticing is this is kind of getting lost. So I don't want to bring black in because we don't have any black anywhere. I am going to, since these were straight, and these are going to go just side to side. Okay, I think I am done. Let's take a look at this. So you can see all the dimension. You can see the shininess of the acrylic shapes. You can see how the lines that are drawn really just kind of make those patterns pop off the page. And then again, like I said, this is a very, very um, embellished down, I guess you would say layout compared to the cover of scrapbook scrapbook and cards today you know they had all the pinwheels and the florals and the layers and i made mine very simple it's got a little bit of dimension but not much here are some close-ups of that layout again thank you so much for stopping by and watching I will have links down below to the Hello Darling as well as anything else I used. And don't forget to like this video, comment, share with your friends, and if you aren't already a subscriber, please hit that subscribe button and sign up for notifications so you won't miss another crafty video. Thanks and have a wonderful week.